a mercury drop shaped as a round tablet of radius r and thickness h so tablet of radius r and thickness h is located between two horizontal glass plates assuming that h is much less than r find the mass m of the weight which has to be placed on the upper plate to diminish the distance between the plate and times so if you let's say we put some mass m on the top and because of that the height reduces n times now before proceeding i just want to make one thing very clear here i have just taken the part of the glass plate and i have shown it in gray color the actual plate is quite big but you might get confused so i just took a part of that plate and showed it here so of course when we put the mass m on the top the, the glass plate on the top is not going to expand but here i have shown the part of the glass plate which is just above the mercury and here also i have shown the part of the glass plate which is just above the mercury the actual glass plate is bigger than both of them all right now back to the question so when we keep the mass on the top how much mass we need to keep such that the height reduces n times and one more important equation is a uh, important term the contact angle is also given to us now why this is important that we have the information of contact angle it's because this contact angle will make sure that we can relate height and r so we'll see why this becomes important so anyway let's start so this is our tablet and initial radius is r which is given and let's say the radius of the side of the tablet is r1 so r1 is not known to us instead he has given the height h so let's zoom this uh, tablet a bit so it's going to look like this and now we can see that this is the contact angle between the surface of the mercury and the surface of the glass so this angle is theta which means this angle is theta minus so yeah theta minus pi by 2 so this angle is also theta minus pi by 2 so again this is the mercury surface so this is the contact angle between the glass surface and the mercury surface so this big angle is theta this angle is theta minus pi by 2 so this angle is also theta minus pi by 2 now this height is known to us which is h by 2 and this is the radius of curvature of this meniscus which is r1 so here we get the relation between r1 and h so sin theta minus h by pi by 2 is equal to h by 2 upon r1 now another equation so this equation we are writing for the for this point which is because of the curvature of r1 here and r here the axis pressure at this point is going to be s by r1 plus s by r so we have seen this equation in 2.171 in the case of a tablet so it's given that uh, h is much less than r and we know h is proportional to r1 r1 is much less than r which means this term is much larger than this term so this term can be equated to 0 and third equation we are writing on the bottom of this tablet so let's say the mass of the glass on the top and the mercury itself is m0 so this total mass is supported by the bottom of this tablet so delta p into pi r square is equal to m not g now because this height is very less we are not concerned with the pressure increment due to h height so whatever is the excess pressure here we are assuming the same pressure is at the bottom so delta p into pi r square is equal to p m not g and delta p is s by r1 so now we have three equations and our variables are delta p r1 and m not so solving that for m not 
because later we are going to need m so that's why we are finding the value of m naught so solving that we get m naught is equal to minus 2 pi r square s cos theta by gh now we have kept a mass m on top of it and as a result the thickness becomes less but you can see that the condition is still the same condition in the sense these equations are still going to be same only thing is r1 will be replaced by r2 r will be replaced by r3 and m0 will be replaced by m0 plus m and of course h by 2 will be replaced by h by 2n or in other words h will be replaced by h by n so we replace that in this equation and we get our new equation m0 plus m is equal to minus 2 pi so r is replaced by r3 s cos theta because contact angle is same upon gh so h is replaced by h by n now r3 is not known to us so we'll get the value of r3 by volume conservation between this tablet and this tablet so just equating the volume so for the first case pi r square h for second case pi r3 square h by n so from here we get r3 is equal to r root n so we put the value here and now just subtracting these two equations we'll get rid of m0 and get our answer m is equal to this subtracting the two m is equal to this all right uh, let m0 be the mass of top plate <laughs> okay so we derived this whole thing while we were discussing we said m0 be the mass of uh, top plate and mercury and then we uh, balanced the whole mass at the bottom but every equation is true if we just consider m0 to be the mass of top plate because then we are balancing the force on this layer instead of at the bottom layer so we are not we are not talking about the mass of the mercury then just think about it all the equations will hold true even so if you, if you consider m0 to be the mass of just the top plate and all the equations are still true if you take m0 to be the mass of mercury and top plate so only thing is these equations uh, not these equations actually these two are the perfect equations but this equation in our so when you consider the whole mass you are applying this equation at the bottom layer bottom surface and when you consider m0 to be the mass of the top plate you are using this equation for the top layer and in both the cases you are considering delta p to be constant so it doesn't matter it is on the top or on the bottom because of the less value of h you are considering the value of delta p which we got from here to be same everywhere in the mercury all right